let us pray. Our oh, gracious, merciful, Holy Father, we, your children, gather before you in the wonderful name of our beloved and blessed Lord, our Savior, our Redeemer, our Emancipator, the one who took the brunt, who took the shame, and loved us so much to sacrifice himself on Calvary's cross in order to redeem us. Oh, Holy Father, we give you all the honor and the glory, every blessing that is due you, Holy Father. We humble ourselves and submit every part of us, our hearts, our soul, to you. Holy Father, we commit ourselves into your hands, knowing that it is only true what our blessed Lord has already designed and what he has completed for us through that substitutionary death and through the blood he shed, because through that blood you atoned for all our sins and we are so grateful for these blessings and want to continue to honor you and glorify your holy name. Help us, Holy Father, so that as we come before you, we'll continue to hallow your name because your name is blessed. It is to be honored in every aspect of our daily lives. We thank you again for this blessing and we know you have said According to your word, that where two or three are gathered in your name, you are already in our presence. And as you are in our presence, we know you have prepared us here for this day, for this time, for all the blessings that you've bestowed upon us in the past days, weeks, months, and years. We also register our gratitude to you. You've given us all the blessings throughout the whole year of 2019 and we know we are still enjoying the blessings and so for all the blessings you've brought us thus far it is appropriate that we continue to thank you for those of us gathered here this morning and those who are at home on the road or traveling to worship you and unable to join in the fellowship heavenly father we commit them into your hands and pray that all of us will have one mind, one uh, desire to thank you, to praise you, to glorify you, to be in your presence, humbling ourselves to hear your word in one way or the other, and that at the same time, that because of what our blessed Lord has already designed, that whatever we bind here on earth, it is already bound in heaven. And so glorify your holy name, Holy Father, so that we would continue to know that as our Jehovah Jireh, you will provide. Our Jehovah Nisi, you will be our banner, our shield. Our Jehovah Rapha, you will heal us. You will be in every part of our, of our being, allowing us to enjoy perfect health in every part of our bodies, from the crown of our heads to the sole of our feet, and that we have the connection through what the blood sacrifice the Lord Jesus Christ made for us, and through that atonement, we can always enjoy all of these blessings as our righteousness, as our holiness, as everything that you are, Holy Father, our Jehovah Tikendu. Help us to continue to know what you've already done for us. And as we thank you for all of the provisions that you've made for us, let us remember you, our El Shaddai, the Lord God Almighty. We want to honor you in every area. And so in any way in which we may not know how to worship you or we may still be learning how to worship you you are the one who has done all and as you prepare our hearts to hear your word holy father we pray that whatever words you have for us any area in our hearts that needs the growth the spiritual growth that you would continue to confirm what you've written to us in ephesians 3 17 to 21 regarding the need for us to be rooted and grounded 
in the love of Christ so that when we have the love of Christ, everything else that we do will be always in line with your scriptures and that we will continue to comprehend, to understand, to know, to be enlightened with all of the depth, the height, the breadth and length of your will and also all of the four corners of your word will continue to be evident in our lives and that we will know the fullness of all of the blessings that God, you, the Almighty, have prepared for us. Holy Father, we are grateful for all of these blessings and we are also praying, Heavenly Father, that as you have brought us all here together this morning, any issues that anyone has, Heavenly Father, you are the one who has said you've already given us the victory you've given us the success because all power has been uh, designated and given and apportioned to our lord and Savior jesus christ and he through the uh, work on salvation or on calvary's cross has given us the desire to enjoy the salvation work which allows us to enjoy all of the benefits and blessings and so we ask heavenly father that we will continue to enjoy all of the deliverances, all of the healings, all of the successes, all of the victories in every aspect of our daily lives, so that whatever the devil may have planned, it is already cancelled, and that on the authority of your word, that you were able to rebuke uh, Satan, evil spirit, demons, and any unclean spirit in any area where your people are. So, Holy Father, we accept the fact that we have already been cleansed we've been redeemed, we've been justified, we've been sanctified, and for that reason, we will continue to enjoy all of the relationships that you've already designed for us. And we know for every blessing that you've already given to us, it is already ours. Open our hearts, open our minds, so that we do not get um, bugged, or we do not get confused about what your will is, because your will is clear that you want us to enjoy all of the blessings. We want to glorify you. We want to honor you in everything that we do. And so as we commit ourselves into your hands this morning, give us the clear and deep and uh, height and breadth and length and width, every aspect of your word, so that we will be able to uh, tap into all of those resources and that we will go forth with strength, with health, with favor, with success, and also with your will in our hearts, and that nothing will stop us, and that as we also commit ourselves to serving you, you would grant us the success so that the words that we say, what we say to ourselves, to our loved ones, to our friends, to our neighbors, will all be life, and that because you are speaking through us, we will be able to share your word without any fear, without any... Uh, um, think, thinking that, oh, well, if we say your word, somebody will be angry. Help us so that the evangelistic message that you've already brought to our attention will continue to resound in our hearts, in our mind, and we'll be able to repeat it and we'll be able to follow all of the principles so that we can share your word in any area where we are found. Heavenly Father, you said that where two or three are gathered in your name, and whatever we have to discuss about you are with us and so in believing that matthew eighteen twenty has already been fulfilled we want to thank and praise and glorify your name for allowing us to come before your presence and to hear all of the messages because if your holy spirit is with us then we do not have to worry and we know this is a fact so we are believing that you are in our presence and will continue to glorify your name to jesus christ our lord amen, amen.